and fellow Kenyans, we have come to a stage where I can tell you, because the hurt, the uncertainty, the injustice, injustice meted on citizens by fellow citizens. I Imagine Kenyans, we steal from each other, we oppress each other, and we want to assume that tomorrow is going to be business as usual. This country needs deliverance. Jimmy is a senior counsel, one of the best minds we have in this country, a man who loves his country like I've never known before. And he's here. And he goes before the Supreme Court, senior counsel, to try and give a direction. And what do the Supreme <laughs> uh, Court, we call it SCOP, Superior, I mean, Supreme Court of Kenya, come up with a decision which was alarming in its entirety. So when you have the judiciary compromise and you have the parliament compromise or bought, because some of our colleagues unfortunately accept to be bought with money. And now the church, the church, please, let us <laughs> regain our national conscience. After CI, after we were in uh, Oma Bay yesterday, we were actually having the beautiful drive into Kisumu, and I told him I'm going to sleep in Kisumu, and he was still in India. He sends his greetings. I hope Nakubali salamizah. And uh, next to me was a member from Bakasi. I put them on a loudspeaker. And the two men spoke in the law for about 15 minutes when I'm listening. <laughs> I tell you, it's amazing. Our brother Raila will be coming in the next few days and by Dubai. I wish him God's, uh, really wish him safe travels. And that may, may come back re energized. Let us put our country together. This is then the time, and I'll conclude with singing that verse by Dr. Sarah Kay. This is a time not to give up hope. We are all going to make it as Kenya, and we wonder how did we make it? How? We made it through, and we don't know how we did it. We made it through. But can't tell how we did it. But one thing I know, Jehovah took it over. And that is how we made it too. Come on, stand up and let's sing it.